people know me as a uh, Unix Freaks JP. Sometimes I have a problem with this light. The size is not match. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, this better. And then the, right now I I have okay. I'll be honest with you. I have 90 slides and I have 30 minutes. So <laughs> you have to follow my speed. And then the, let's talk about the questions outside. So uh, introduction is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm an IR person in real life in the cyber emergency center. I'm handling also the advanced cyber threat uh, research team and uh, representative of my JSOC in the first member. So uh, my community give back is uh, in Melbourne, I, I try to uh, write many things in Japanese and in English in, in different uh, blocks. Uh, I do the Linux malware research, and right now I stopped blogging in the malware bus die blog, but uh, switch it to the Reddit. I make uh, Linux malware Reddit uh, mods over there, so feel free to put the, your RSS for following over there. I'm research. Uh, I am a lecturer. I have one student from Japan coming here, and. For the uh, malware uh, teaching the university students about the how they to handle the malwares and uh, teaching in the about the ICS securities for the government. So uh, activities in Radar is not so much, but uh, together with Pancake we built the R2 JP. Hopefully we will start to to, to do something soon. And uh, we still uh, learning much, but uh, rather from you guys. And uh, yeah, um, introducing rather as much as possible to Japan. And then uh, I'm the only lecturer who actually using rather in the security camp in Japan, the old Japan security camps. We pick like uh, 80 genius kids all over Japan, and we we try to I try to tell them about rather, and it works. <laughs> So uh, I'm a Unix person, open source, and then the FreeBSD free user. So there are some stuff about FreeBSD over here and not rather native, please forgive me. <laughs> and then, the, okay, I may, I may block you in the Twitter, but maybe not me, my script maybe. So uh, if you are blocked, uh, please uh, ask to me later. And then the... I feel happy to get out from the user sports and uh, make uninstall the radar over there and then go to the GitHub. But I had the uh, nightmare after that. And then, the, yes, uh, these are the person that I met uh, first time. It's a Zillow Worm. And then through Fire, uh, Pancake, and, and Anton. Thank you for coming to Japan. And then, the, yes, through Fire is never sleeps. And uh, I'm known now as a garbage 55 according to my discussion with my Jean. <laughs> so uh, in BotConf, Paul was uh, greeting to me. I never had the chance to greet him back. So this is uh, my greet for Paul, if he see the slide later on. So uh, I'm talking about the Linux <laughs> binary packers. And then, the, yeah, I will share it to you about uh, my methods in analyzing the ITEW packers in the realistic ways. So there is no uh, bullshit, anything, just uh, practical, easy, and fast. My method all out. And then the old method presented here are with the sc screenshots. So most of the pages are screenshots. So I can, I think I can make it in the 30 minutes. So let's go. Okay, the contents is uh, separated into three parts. Appetizer, some soup, main course. Main course is long, so appetizer is about UPX packer, but uh, there are so many uh, vanilla UPX packer cannot be cracked by by some people. So I think, uh, yeah, you have to chant about the you have to fire radar first, then everything will be okay. Then we will go to the first uh, part. Now uh, there are three types that I've uh, seen so far about the vanilla UPX. Uh, you, People, uh, hackers or attackers, are are messing with the bytes. So you have to fix the headers. 
either the elf headers or the program headers. So you have to know exactly about what the headers are. Number two is, uh, yes, uh, dynamic analysis is very important for those uh, analyzing bikers too. And then the, there are several ways in the memory depacking and generally can be applied to all. Well, the rest is, uh, you can read it later in the slide. And then the, there are three parts that uh, I want to share here. UPX uh, header rewriting methods. The second is uh, source code modifications and then the unpacking me method if it doesn't work in the both cases. So this is uh, ELF uh, headers. What's wrong with this header? Do you, anyone knows? Okay, make it fast. These are the, how, the correct way to read the headers. So this is the UPX uh, type kind of the uh, tweak one actually. The, the, the upper one is the ELF headers and then they are ha having a P, uh, program headers entry zero and one and then following by the U UPX header. You have to know this, otherwise the, the little kid hacker can fool you and make, make your time like uh, three hours cannot putting in the things in the right place. So, okay. Uh, this is the right way to read headers in the radar cells. Thank you for the Majin Anton for uh, showing me this command. I didn't know until I had the training. So uh, practically pf, uh, pf dot elf header is very powerful. Then the, this is my way for doing it. I, ha I use uh, elf dump in the free BSD, open BSD, net BSD, it has it. So. Uh, Practically, the result is the same, but uh, it's the way you see it is uh, quite different. In the in the elf dom, part of the part of the data are uh, decimals, part are hexadecimals, so you have to count it back. Can it's okay, you can do that. And then the, for the program headers, this is also the right way to to read it by the radar. And then the, you can doing the same with the elf dom. This elf dom is uh, using the uh, hyphen uh, p. The first one is a uh, hyphen E. So uh, where am I? Um, okay. So many unlimited variations of uh, this kind of the tweaking uh, ELF to for the UPX. So uh, you have to really bear with the header one, uh, bytes by, by bytes, uh, for example. Sometimes you just uh, loading the ELF by your hand. Don't worry, you don't have to, to do the uh, for example, the hyphen n or hyphen nn, but you can search the magic and then the, you can start the pxa from there. And then Radar Day will be kindly show you, oh, this is for the header, stuff like that. So you can do it very quick. Uh, but uh, this is the correct way to do it. You you just load it with the hyphen n and then the, you can make it a breakdown like this. This is a very beautiful one. So uh, understanding those uh, and then the, you can check with whether the, uh, the value is correct or incorrect. So you can have to fix it uh, one by one. So I'm gonna show you how. You have to remember this, and then the, the, that is the only way. This is for the uh, Intel's 32 bits header of the UPX. Uh, it's having stuff like that uh, most, mostly. All you have to focus is uh, this part because of uh, they cannot mess uh, so much with uh, headers because of uh, the program should run anyway. So this part is our the, the one with the mark with the red color is are the parts that uh, they are tweaking mostly. And then, the, for example, in these cases, if you put back to to the right places and you can uh, depack it easily with a hyphen D, just like that. And then, the, if the thing is gone wrong, just check which bit is not in uh, is not correct. And then, the, these are the comments that you can do for it, and you can root it like that. Uh, use uh, this uh, the middle uh, command over there that can be used. It has the YouTube video here. Feel free to take the picture during I'm talk for the screen if you need to to see it uh, soon. Uh, this slide will be edited a bit because there's so many pop up, uh, and then I will share it within a week. Then uh, some hack of the source code also exists. In that case, uh, you have to uh, you have to debug it, 
and find whether which one was crossing it or can, the error will come up. And then the, after after that, you have to compare the source code. In this case, uh, the pack header size was uh, tweaked into the another custom one. So all you have to do is uh, record it again, and then the, you have to compile the EPX and run the hyphen D, and 90% should be working. If not, then the, you have to try again. Well, on memory packing with the R2 is uh, quite easy. I'm not having any kind of the fancy environment in my in my work. I, I'm using only BSD servers, so I access it from the term. That is the only way that I'm doing Malware Die until now. So you are running like uh, this process. It's running all the time. All you have to do is uh, put it in the debug mode, or you can do it with the SEL. Depends on the matter, like per explain if uh, only uh, uh, independent uh, calls are uh, being used. You can simulate everything with the ACL, and I prefer you to do that. And you can step in in the hood mode like this. So this is a uh, debugging rather in the uh, environment of the Unix OS and sample of the panel. Like UPX was there. If you're running it correctly in the part of the memory, you can see the elf, and then you can see the header, and then the, you can. Uh, uh, unpack the elf directly to the memory, and this is the way to do it uh, step by step. It's uh, almost as, uh, it's also the same with the Windows one. Okay, uh, these are the binary that uh, if you want to practice, you can take the picture of it, so you can see it in the virus total. It was there. Okay, can I continue? Yes. Okay. So uh, everything is okay now. So another packers is not only UPX. I analyze about the burn eye. Uh, there is a elf encryptors. There is Siva. There is Vim Protect. Burn eye is uh, good for practice. Has uh, uh, encrypted uh, password protections and basic packing in elf too. It, I'm not so sure whether open, open source or leak source, and but it has a uh, decompile applications in the C codes in uh, many uh, ways. So. Is a very good for the research. Elf encryptor is also good, but uh, doesn't do much. Uh, sophisticated one. It's used the vir virtual virtual address here and there, and obfuscate again. And obfuscation, obfuscation is not uh, very fun, but uh, it has a password uh, protection. CIFA is interesting, and then uh, I, I I I recommend you to have a CIFA, and then uh, you can. Uh, oh my! Oh, Twenty-seven minutes? Seriously? Okay. Uh, Okay, this is the table. You can see it later. It has a good summary, good source. These are the sites that you can see where are uh, be careful because of uh, in the filtration will be blocked probably. This is uh, the site is still up. VM Protect is a very sophisticated one. Uh, I think much of you knows it. And then the, you have to download it through the forum for the Linux ones. And then the in this interface, it will be uh, Russia languages, and then the, you can, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, tweak it to the, any kind of the uh, level of the uh, VM packering uh, with uh, this uh, packer. Okay, these are the cool pack packers that actually exist now. Is in the GitHub, like uh, it has the Migit uh, pack. Migit pack is very good because it has the challenge and response. I hope I connect it to the internet. Uh, if not, then the, you have to take the picture and then, the, okay, it's not connected. So it has also the polymorphic of Python 1. This is a very seriously important packer. And then every time you, you execute it, the, the hash will be differences. There is a packer L for, it's just very simply six. Uh, for, for example, if you want to really build something and then you want to develop the, the packer, but uh, you don't know the base, you can use this. The other one is uh, if you love PS2, uh, there is a PS2 specific packer, and it is very interesting because modular design was used. And the last one is a very important kind of wrapping up from the old packer and then being used again. So uh, I'm going to the, how many minutes? Okay. Um, this this is the 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 main course. I don't know the name of the packer. I I'm not, I'm not so sure. And I found it in the wild, so it is very, it is impossible for static, statically unpacking this one. So uh, I name it this way for for this conference only. Then the spotted in the thread 
uh, public threat se sector, probably in the some targeted uh, sectors too. And then the, it's really fireless uh, for forensics. And then the, obviously it's hiding a very important information in the original binary. And then the, that is the reason why uh, make it in a little bit uh, difficult for pack unpacking this one. So the elf is look like this. If you see it correctly, it looks like a plain elf, but it is not. It is uh, actually a uh, pack. You can analyze with, uh, like you are analyzing the UPX before. It has uh, two uh, sections over there. And in the section, the very important is that the base address was uh, in the, always be in the uh, section uh, uh, program header zero. And uh, the actual execution will be running in the entry one, but it's not one. This is the, if you're reading it, what they read elf is gonna be like this. The, if you see it with the object dump, it's gonna be like this. There's not so many clue for this packer. It has no string at all. So you'll be probably, what the hell is this? Uh, I was saying like that in the first time. So I'm gonna explain to you the character of this packer. So it will be easy for you to, to recognize. The first call is uh, to the area where the unpacking function is uh, actually exist. And then afterward, that is the this is the subroutines that will, was being called in the first place in the uh, entry zero, and then the, it will pack it will uh, load the, it will call the uh, unpacker loader and then the unpacker loader will load the data in the loader program. It was addressed in here. It was under that there is a little blob of the data, and after that, the loader logic uh, will load the pack data from the address. This is the exact ad address uh, that will be used with this packer. And uh, you, it will operate under the reserve address of this. And then the, after the unpacking successful, it will push the, 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 the pack uh, binary in the uh, 400,000 uh, hex uh, address. And uh, if you see the loader that actually being loaded in, in this part here, the, the, the function, I cannot read it. Uh, 005, uh, 0055 ec 2 t function is actually having the good uh, sequence of the mmap load exit, write exit, stuff like that. It's never changed. So after doing those, and then the 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 DPEG uh, binary was loaded, it it will be in the obfuscated form. So uh, the next uh, step of the, this uh, entry zero will be the uh, obfuscation, the binary. And it looks like this uh, in Radare. It's, it's really stressful. So the, the text is very, very small like this. So you can imagine that the first time thing is like this. So I have to borrow another stuff, uh, the graphical for this, to understand there's a obfuscation layer like a five or six like this so it is it is the the reason of up the obfuscation loop layer like this is uh, to avoid us using the emulations for the depacking purpose that is uh, the way i'm i'm thinking about so uh, in this point probably it will be better if uh, we just uh, debug it and then uh, put the breakpoint somewhere down here and then uh, just dump the result afterwards i'm not so sure is it working or not but uh, it works then the the unpacked binary is written and exec in the base address of 400,000 with the same image name. And then you can use ACL to see the process better. Like this in the bigger part. This is the one of the characteristics of uh, this uh, packer that uh, you can really, really uh, want to detect. And if you want to make a signature, you can use it. And thank you for the uh, PDDA. Yay. This is uh, very, very easy to analyze with uh, this uh, kind of... Uh, 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 you just see the the right side and compare it with the left side. I really love this one. So uh, then, the, after you 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 found the 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 the, the binary was successfully uh, depacked, uh, it will form the real elf, and then the, you can see the string is beautifully depacked, and then the the result is like this. And I, I found it is a tiny XMR Mooner. There is a, only one analysis about the tiny XMR Mooner doesn't even showing about the how to RE this packer. So probably nobody, nobody can do this far before or doesn't publish it, I'm not so sure. But uh, why the tiny XMR Mooner is uh, not having the source code to be, uh, you know, as a miner, for example, 
because of uh, this elf is also having own uh, decryption functions, I saw. And then I was thinking after doing some uh, uh, running it with a debugger, so we found that there is uh, some uh, identification over there, up there. Well, actually, the mining ID and pool server address was encrypted, so in some cases our plain scene too, but uh, most are, are uh, encrypted one. So uh, actually, this this elf is actually uh, letting the user mining with uh, preset configuration in the pool server with abusing the donation functions. It is uh, grabbing uh, all of the donation uh, functions of the XM rig, which is not supposed to be changed. So I, I'm, as an open source guy, I think this is an abuse for the minor program. So, but I understand that why he's trying to uh, cover this with a packer. So uh, this is the, I try to uh, extract it as much as possible and then it, it will show it over there, the data. Then, the, yeah, after you're running the, the program and then you make a, a simple analysis, this is what the, actually the this uh, X, XM, R, R, uh, tiny XM, R Mooner is doing. And then the next question is, how many of the dispacker is actually exist in the internet? Quite a lot. I found another one, another type of the binary was packed with this. I found Mirai was packed with this. So I'm not so sure w what the source of the, this uh, uh, packer. Well, when I found first Mirai, it wasn't really packed, but uh, the, the, the thing is, is uh, there is no reference at the time. But uh, when I saw the inside of this packer is Mirai, so it's, 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 it's probably not so, so uh, expensive too for the hacked if it can, can use it, right? So if you see this packer, if you know the name, just name it, and then they'll let the people know. In this matter, uh, it goes for the first loading uh, loader for the unpack. It goes to the disk function in the same way too. Load the binary for the loader after that. The loader is uh, having the, st the same step too, like uh, mmap load exec right, can then go to the exit over here, and then the the actually uh, the actual uh, pack data is always be in the this uh, address. And then, uh, yeah, uh, it has a, uh, this is supposed to be elf, but uh, sometimes it, it doesn't sound the, the elf too. It is uh, 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 in the obfuscated uh, stated. So uh, uh, this is not the UPX uh, packer. <laughs> I'm sure about that. So if you do the debugging, you can see that uh, it, it is executed in the same base address as per previously. Uh, I explained with the previous uh, samples. So the inside is the XM rig. And if you unpack it good, uh, you can see everything in the memory. Uh, well, I just uh, run it afterwards to make sure. So this is the one. I don't put any kind of the users in the config. And then in, in it goes to not to the donation one, but go to the exactly the pull server of the attacker was uh, really uh, planted it to the binaries. So uh, this is the POC that uh, it's, it is using the user some not a login something and then the pass is gonna be X something like that. And these are the, the blockchain of the this uh, what attacker use. I'm not so sure that uh, whether the Monero can be traced from this point. But uh, this is actually that uh, the part of the XM error Monero or the XM rig was abused. As per said over there, this uh, this uh, donation part is uh, you know is uh, only for the donation, but uh, actually being used for the hard coding, the CTS access for the pool ID and uh, uh, what uh, yeah identifications and the pool server. I try many things. Uh, okay, I was uh, in Japan quite a lot, so like I put I put the users I put like that, and it goes still to the same one just to make sure it is not uh, working in the. Uh, the way that I analyze it in the statically or uh, debugging before. And this is the sample for you, so uh, you can uh, put the, uh, uh, get it with the picture if you're interested. Uh, and then the, you can get it uh, uh, somewhere in the virus total. So uh, the conclusion is uh, elf packer packers are a full thing. 
so uh, we don't have to forget the basic of the executable F itself in order to understand about this stuff. Uh, Packers is, will be always be there to protect binaries, and I agree with that. But uh, we don't like it. But uh, we have to, you know, a learn to enjoy reversing them, and then just uh, do it it with the uh, R two, and then the, everything will be okay. So uh, there are many recommendations for the reference, but uh, I, I I always stick to the basics for for it, and then the, I strongly suggest you to to use this reference and the, these tools. The the first up one are using in a very much ITF and reference for the Linux itself and binary itself. Yeah, in the practical level, these two link is very good. And if you want to uh, install yourself Elf Dumb, there is a source code of it in in here, so you can just grab it. I think the the the, the Python Elf tools is a very powerful, uh, but you have to uh, install it by yourself. I d I don't use it, I, so I don't know about that. There is also the Elf tool tool chain that uh, probably very good, but it's not quite new. So thank you for the pancake for the <laughs> invitations and then the. To the rather a team over there who's always helping me, showing me the wrong commands, and I try to fix the presentation with the new commands. So uh, yeah, so if you see the packer, blog it, inform people, and then the, try to uh, put it uh, somewhere the hashtags of the rather day, and present it in the net next uh, Articon. That's all. Uh, sorry for the I'm not so quite good in talking in the public, so. If you have any questions, you can ask now. Oh, I ask. Questions? Okay. Thanks. Thank you.